Hi, I'm Dr. Janice and I'm here to take you on a journey inside your ovaries to help you understand what the anti-malarian hormone or ovarian reserve is in an easy way. At birth, we are blessed with around a million eggs. This number is finite because our ovaries cannot generate new eggs. As time goes by, this number will only go down as our egg cells die. We will only have around 300,000 eggs left by the time we hit puberty, represented by this entire column here. Fast forward to menopause, only 1,000 eggs will be left, and none of the eggs from this point on will ever be released or accessible. This is a genetically built-in program in our ovaries, and there's nothing anyone can do about this, since no one can stop time. This is the limit of a woman's reproductive lifespan. So, what do doctors mean when they say ovarian reserve or egg count or AMH test? Each month, a few eggs in your ovaries will enter the race to be the chosen one for ovulation. However, only one egg will win the golden ticket to fully mature and be released into the fallopian tube, while the rest will stop growing and then die. These orange balls here represent your good healthy eggs, while the white ones are eggs of poorer quality. And as you can see here, as we age, the chances of releasing a good egg will decrease. Now, think of this scoop as your ovarian reserve or AMH level. This will generally decrease in size over time, thus affecting your chances of conceiving. Let me show you how. As you can see, this is why age matters in fertility, as the likelihood that we get a poor quality egg release increases with age. Unfortunately, some women will draw the shortest straw in the procreation lottery, and they will start off with a smaller scoop instead. With a lower AMH level, her chances of getting a good egg is lesser despite her age. In addition, her fertility may be further affected if she has had issues such as ovarian cyst removal surgery, which may decrease her ovarian reserve, or poor lifestyle habits such as smoking, which increases toxic damage to the ovaries, such that the ratio of a good quality eggs to a poor quality eggs is worse. So, how does elective egg freezing help in preserving your fertility? We as fertility specialists trick the ovaries into maturing all the eggs that are scooped in a cycle instead of just the one that goes into the tube. These eggs are then collected, frozen, and stored in our fertility labs for future use in IVS, offering you better chances of success as the ratio of good to poor quality eggs are better. So contrary to common belief, EF doesn't take away your eggs. It simply allows the eggs that will have gone here to go here instead. While elective egg freezing enhances your future options, it is by no means a guarantee for pregnancy. It is still recommended to try for a baby sooner when your chances tend to be higher. If you are interested to learn more about elective egg freezing, do book a fertility screening or schedule a consultation with us to help you make an informed decision on whether it's worthwhile for you.